So I've reviewed quite a few projectors on the channel now, and I thought it might be a good time to compare two of the better ones I've tested so far, the Jaber Ace K1 and the Apollo P40 by Altamia. I'll leave links down below with current pricing and more information on each projector. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> When comparing the price of these two, the Jaber Ace K1 is normally $499, but is currently on sale for only $299. Price of the Altamia is $399, but is on sale currently for only $240. So about $50 difference between the two. Now when talking about the connections on these two, it's going to be pretty close. On the Jaber projector, you've got two HDMI ports, two USB ports, a headphone jack or auxiliary jack, and audio video jack as well. On the Altamia projector, you've got one HDMI port, two USB, headphone auxiliary jack, and audio video jack. So a slight advantage there for Jaber on what connections you have. You're also going to have more controls on the top of the Jaber projector versus just power power on the top of the Altamia. Then when it comes to the speakers or built-in sound, these two actually sound pretty good. You've got a 10 watt speaker in the Altamia, 15 watt for Jaber. The Jaber projector does tend to sound a little bit better or louder overall. Personally, I would use external speakers on both of these, but if you're just using the built-in audio, I would give the slight advantage to Jaber. Here's a quick sample of each just to give you an idea of what they sound like. Really, there's going to be a lot of things similar between these two, especially when you're considering what features each projector has. Both are native 1080p resolution, also support 4K resolution, and each one is going to work best on a screen up to 150 inches. You can also use a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection on both, and both projectors have a sealed optical engine, which is going to prevent dust and reduce black spots. As you can see, software-wise, they're they're both going to be pretty simple, sort of personal preference on which one is better, but both are going to have auto keystone correction and autofocus, something that's always nice to see on this category of projector. Plus it's nice you can adjust both manually to get things just how you like. Fan noise is also going to be pretty similar between these two, only about one decibel difference between the two. You're also going to have things like AirPlay or iOS cast and mirror cast to display your mobile device on both projectors. You can also use an HDMI adapter on both projectors as well. Although I did have some issues using that on the Altamia projector for some reason with certain HDMI cables. As you can see, the remote controls are going to be slightly different here. The Ultimia one looks and feels a little more premium, but I do like how you have more shortcuts or buttons on the Yeber remote. Sort of personal preference there on which remote you like better. And then probably one of the most important things to consider is going to be the screen or picture quality. From my testing, color seems to be a little more vibrant on the Jaber projector, although it does have a little bit more bluish green tint to it compared to Altamia. But the one that looks a little sharper and a tad brighter in person is going to be the Altamia. But it also depends on what you're watching because sometimes Jaber looks better and sometimes Altamia looks better. You've got 650 ANSI lumens versus is 700 on the Altamia, but pretty close here on screen quality. I don't think you can go wrong on either, but I like the color on Jaber, and then the sharpness looks better on Altamia. Blacks and overall contrast are about the same on both, maybe a hair darker on Jaber, but really it's super close on these two. So as you can see, it's a pretty tough choice between these two projectors. Can't really go wrong with either in my opinion. It may just come down to personal preference and which features are more important to you. I feel like both companies did a really nice job on these more affordable projectors. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.
Thank you.